All right, guys, this trading week was one for the record books, right? Pretty much every day this week, the market was up 1,000 points one day and then plunged 1,000 points the next day. All right, so while everybody else is freaking out and panicking and watching the market go up and down like crazy, I am going to show you how to keep your cool, stay calm, and let the charts do the talking. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, guys, what is up? It's Mark here with Dino Trading. Got a short trading recap video here for you. And um, yeah, this week was one for the record books. I think many of you guys who traded this week, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Day traders are back, volatility's back. And what I want to say to you guys is this, okay? When you have such an incredible week in your trading, and really not even the whole week, literally just the last three days, okay? When you have an unbelievable week in your trading, in your business, you know what you should do? You should feel free to take some time off, right? Feel free to come to a decision and say, you know what? I don't have to trade every day. Maybe I'll take the rest of the month off, right? Because guys, the week that we just had where up a thousand points and then the next day down a thousand points and then the next day up a thousand points and then the next day down a thousand points the trading week that we just had can literally make your month and in some cases make your whole trading year right whatever your goals are whatever your benchmarks are for speculating in the market profit targets and all that other stuff when you combine all of that stuff and you've met your benchmark why keep trading Enjoy your profits, take some time off, and just come back next week or come back next month even. All right? Here's what I mean, right? Here's the Dow futures on a trend-based chart. And let's take a look. Here's yesterday. Okay? Market plunge. There's your short signal. There's your high. There's your low. Do you guys see any retracement zone where you should be a seller? Right? Look at the time here, 8.31. You better be at your computer at 8.30. I can understand if maybe you weren't at your computer here, right, when this short signal came and you draw your high and you draw your low and it basically nailed 800 points to the short side on the Dow. But you look at the time, you probably weren't at your computer. This is like 1 o'clock in the morning. No one's at their computer, right? But 8.30, if you're a professional and you take this seriously, then you'd better fucking be at your computer at 8.30 and be on the lookout for signals, right? How about the next day? How about Tuesday? Again, boom. Long signal, draw your high, draw your low. Wait for that retracement. Do you guys see a retracement? 800 points, right? So what I got to keep telling people is... The market's going to trend and do its thing every day with or without you. Hopefully with you, right? How about the NQ? Okay. Here's today on the NQ. Beautiful. Here's yesterday on the NQ. Again, beautiful. Here's the day before that, Tuesday on the NQ. Gorgeous, right? Gold futures today. Gold futures yesterday, like, I mean, look at this, look at these setups, guys, long, short, draw your high, draw your low, draw your high, draw your low, you know, these are the same patterns every single day, right, day in, day out, the market's going to trend. I've come to the conclusion that a majority of people that I talk to and email and text, I think that a lot of you guys are overcomplicating your trading, right? You're looking at indicators, you're joining a chat room, you've purchased somebody's fucking course. At a certain point in your trading career, you gotta take responsibility for your own trading. You got to learn how to trade price action for yourself. There's not a chat room in the world that's going to teach you how to learn price action trading, trend line trading, retracement trading, being able to forecast these zones right here, right? Being able to figure out what does a buy signal look like? All right, it's there. Now, let me draw my buy signal retracement zone. All right, great. Now, let me wait for the retracement. 
okay? When you get to the point in your trading career where you can do this successfully all the time, guys, I'm telling you, you're never going to want to do anything else with your career. You're going to want to trade full time all the time. Okay, so guys, I'm in a really good mood today. I think I'm going to take tomorrow off. I think many of you who had massive success this week, you should do the same. Uh, for those of you guys that are sitting on the sidelines or you're wondering when you should get into trading, guys, I am telling you, there is never going to be a better time to get into trading other than right now. Volatility is through the roof. Don't let the financial news media and CNBC and TV and newspapers, don't let them freak you out. Get off your butt, make the commitment, and start day trading properly, okay? Guys, thanks for watching this video. See you on the next trade.